Hello, this is Mrs. Neubauer, and let's work on our penmanship. What word allows you to take away two letters? Stone. Get it? S-T-O-N-E. We take the S-T away. We have one. <laughs> All right, so our, today our lesson, we're going to work on lesson goal number 10. We're going to write letters next to each other, and they're going to form words. So before we get started, I'm going to show you just a little bit what I'm talking about, since the sheets hopefully have them all printed off ready to go. Okay, so let's say we're going to write cat. We got our C. Now you want to have like a little space in between because you don't want your letters to connect. But you don't want to be too far away where there's too much space. So as you write, you're going to practice writing different letters next to each other to make words. So see how my A and my T have less space than my C and my A? Let's take, let's try dog. So I need to have my O go right about there. You can see my little dot right about there and my O. I need to start the O, come back around. And end. So that was much better than the first one. The C and A, there's just way too much space there. We have less space. So this might be the hardest part about having to write words, is to figure out how much space we need. And I've been doing this for years and years, lots of words, lots of letters, so I make it probably look easy. So just remember, you're just starting. So you're going to trace words with me, and then you're going to try some on your own. If you haven't already, you should have 10A. We're going to work on 10B, 10C, and 10D. So remember, our goal is to eventually uh, write on wide rule paper. So today you're doing just like you did for your lesson 9. You're going to write on large, medium, small, and then the wide rule. So eventually you can get that wide rule paper out and print away whatever assignments you need. Okay. So first of all, let's start large. So we're just basically writing our first words. Unless you have started writing your name, then you probably have that one set. So the, what you want to do first is trace my two lowercase letters, and then you're going to try some on your own. So just like we've been doing, I've created these. So first we have a circle, and then we have our, horizontal, our vertical line coming down. We have our W, staying with that dashed line and the bottom line. And same thing for our A. So we'll trace over mine. Remember, we're using our fingers. We're going to use some muscle memory, creating our letters to create words. Okay, same thing. The second one. Trace over our four letters to make a way. Okay, so hopefully you're getting used to writing your letters. You're feeling more comfortable. The last lesson you were writing from memory, so hopefully you succeeded without looking at anything to help write all your letters. Okay, so we're not going to really worry about uh, word spacing just yet. We're worried about what's in between. So just like I did earlier, you want a little bit of space. Now, you can see that there's kind of the same space going on, but look how the W and A ends up making more space. So you try to try to continue have that space even though it's at an angle. Okay, so let's try one on our own. And basically, if you're worried about word space, you do about the space of a letter in between to have a nice space. So we start with our circle, and then we have our vertical line. Okay, so our W, we want a little bit of space there, so I'm going to start off, and that's nice. It's nice when the letter starts off right next to your previous letter. So what I mean by that is when you have an A, our letter doesn't start next to it, but we have to go kind of next to it. So you start at the top, come around, and do your best to have that same space. And be, be nice to yourself. This is the first time you're practicing with me. So if it's more than a space, then maybe the next one will be a 
little bit better. So we're going to do a little space here. All right. And our Y. Away. So it allows you enough room to try it um, two or three more times. So when we get done with the video, you can um, go back and try those. The same thing with big. We have our vertical line. for big. We've got a letter space. Okay. Now let's try it without your trace. So you want to do a little bit of letter space, do that vertical line from the top to the bottom. And then remember B, the circle starts at that vertical line and comes around to make a nice circle. Now I is nice because it's right next to it, so give yourself a little space. And the same thing with the G. So the G is going to come around, make a circle, try not to touch that I. You might the first time you try it. That's okay. That's why we're practicing. Good. And big, you can actually write quite a few more times. Some words are longer than others. Okay, so you're going to work through um, our alphabet letters. So you can see they all have different letters that you're going to practice. And then for, we have H through N, O through uh, U, and V through Z. So hopefully these are words that you know um, and learned. Otherwise, um, you can just sound them out as you go. Okay, when you get done with your large, then you're going to work on your medium. So medium, and I have it at the top if you kind of want to see. You're doing the same thing. You're going to trace over my two words and then try some on your own. Um, medium, if you haven't already tried medium from our last lesson, it's just the same, it's just a little bit smaller. So I make it a little progressively smaller each time for you. So same thing, you're going to trace over my letters, and you're seeing the space in between, getting used to that. Aqua. Okay. And then you're going to do that twice and then try it on your own. So leave about a letter space and then try it on your own. So start with your A. And then we have our Q. So we want a nice space in between. You're getting used to seeing that space. It's okay if it's a little bigger, a little smaller. That's why we're practicing. U and A. A lot of those circle siblings, they start kind of in the middle and they come over, so you got to watch it. Okay, so there's different, there's colors and numbers on the medium words you get to practice. And then the same thing, we're going to have A through K, and then we have L through U. Practicing all the different 26 letters of the alphabet, and then V through Z. So this lesson will take you a little while because you're going to have four different lessons in there. We have alligator, we have uh, names of animals on this one to practice. So just remember from your last lesson, I'll try to get them all. We have from the small to the medium, I think we, and then from the large to the medium. So basically we're going down about a quarter of an inch or maybe three, three millimeters or so as we practice. And I didn't make you write the same words over and over again, so I changed down the um, ABC letters. So A through M, we have N through Z. The last set, so remember that's our goal is the wide rule, so this gets even smaller. It's almost the size of the half 
I love the small. This is our wide rule, wide rule paper. Okay, so ask and you do the same thing. And hopefully by now you've been practicing enough your fine motor skills, your hand muscles, your finger muscles, arm muscles are getting better. And it actually is a little bit easier to write the small because you don't have to write so much and up and down and left and right. Okay, so the same thing. You're going to try to practice on your own. Leave a letter space. Do your best to stay in the lines. And remember how your letter letters are made up of. And one more page. There is also a blank page that goes along with it, so you can practice writing your own words, and that's always nice to do. Okay, I feel like we accomplished our goal today. Remember, it was all about writing letters next to each other, and that actually forms words. So you can continue to practice. Remember, the large is your A set, B is your medium, C is small, and then D, that last one I just showed you, is your wide rule. So this is what we're trying to get to. All right. Remember that we're progress over perfection, and have a great day.